You guys, what's up? I've been getting a lot of questions lately on the books that I'm talking about. So, what I did was, we're actually going to talk about them right now. I'm going to put all the links in the description below on books that I recommend. This is not a book, this is a map. I recommend getting maps. No, just kidding. Totally kidding. No, I'm not kidding. I love maps. If you could see my room, you'd be like, okay, this dude's clearly a map addict. So, we're going to get started real quick, and I'm just going to talk about some books that I personally recommend. This is actually not the book I recommend. I'm going to start with this one, but this is taking the place of a journal that I'm going to put in the description below. I think it was like five bucks, and you guys are going to like it. I, honestly, even if you don't go get it, go check it out. This is for like your weight loss journey or whatever, or self-help or whatever, just to keep... Uh, tabs on what you're doing but it's a weight loss journal specifically for that you can get a you know a cheap one at the dollar store like this or whatever like school supplies but the one I'm putting in the link in the description below go check it out it's actually on Amazon it's like four or five bucks I'm gonna order it soon because I just think it's so cool uh, but it's got like uh, it, it, it'll actually just go look at it because it's really cool it's interesting how they set the the journal up um, totally different than all the other ones that I've seen so I think that will be really beneficial next one is going to be this one here is my favorite book so far that I've read I freaking love it I got to read it in Europe I got to read it in England I wrote tons of stuff in there um, it's just it, it's called no excuses by Brian Tracy um, I'm kind of turned off by certain books if they get too much of a spin on them, whether it's uh, religion or just there's all kinds of different spins. Like if people get too heavy with what they're talking about, but it doesn't have anything to do with the book, I get really turned away from it. Um, this book specifically engaged. It was almost I could I didn't read it fast. You can't always read it fast if you're on the go like I was uh, because it's a very engaging book it's it's a self-help book but literally at the end of every chapter it makes you write things down it makes you work on things and I promise you like every single day to this day I seriously practice many of the things that I learned in this book and I don't even realize them like they're just natural now um, like one of the things is prioritizing my day planning my day the day before so a lot of things are coming to me um, that I learned in this book that are actually benefit me quite a bit. The book, I think, uh, it's like seven, nine, seven or nine dollars. It's really super cheap. I fully 100% recommend it. It's not going to have this cover, obviously, because I tore the cover off and got rid of it because it kept getting ripped up or whatever. So this is actually uh, the outside of the book, but no excuses by Brian Tracy. Also, if you get a chance, I'll put a link to one of his videos on uh, YouTube. He's a really good motivational speaker. I actually liked his books, book more than I liked his speaking. Um, I listened to some other uh, motivational speakers. If you guys ever want to know about that, feel free. Uh, maybe we'll talk about some books that they've done uh, in the future. The next thing is a runner's guide. This is a complete guide to running. It's not that cheap. It's kind of like a magazine. It's real, like, kind of just on the go. It's not a fast read, though. It's very, very in detail. Like, if you can see it, it has a lot of uh, pretty detailed. It's not like just a magazine full of ads. It's telling you all kinds of stuff about what you should be eating, what you should be doing to stretch, how to run, how to improve your running, how to pick up speed, all kinds of really cool stuff. Uh, it was eleven ninety nine. I'll put, if I can find it on Amazon, I'll put a link to the description below. But honestly, this is what I used when I was training for my five k and my ten k, and it seriously was a godsend. It was really good. I really enjoyed that one. So if you're looking to improve your skills in running, this is a future book that uh, was just sent to me. It's called Jump by Steve Harvey. Tasha just sent me this. I haven't got a chance to start reading it, but if you're looking to read it along with me, go pick up a copy of that for sure because I will definitely, definitely uh, love to talk about this along the way. It's actually a motivational book. It's like, if you don't jump, how could you fly kind of thing. You know what I mean? So definitely pick that up. Uh, the Art of Clear Thinking, another in-detailed book. 
all my books, as you're always going to know, <laughs> I'm not rich by any means. Um, I'm rich in heart. No. <laughs> but uh, they're all super cheap, you know, usually under 10 bucks. So um, I don't buy super expensive books. There's going to be two books in here, I think, that I'll recommend that are going to be, you know, 15 or 20 bucks or something like that. But you can always buy the Kindle version or a download version for cheaper than that. So keep that in mind. The Art of Clear Thinking, actually, it is a not a super easy read, but it makes you realize a lot of things that you're not thinking clearly through. Um, I'm only about a quarter of the way through this one, but definitely a good read. Not a super easy read. Uh, definitely a little bit more difficult, but it's well worth it. That is called The Art of Clear Thinking by Roth Dabelli. I guess Dobbly, if I said that right. The next one, also not a super easy read. But if you're looking to expand your vocabulary, this is definitely the book because it is uh, the thing you can, the thing you think you cannot do. This one was, as you can see, it's only seven bucks. We could probably find that online. I'll put a link in the description. We could probably find it for like four or five bucks. But remember, like with these bar bargain price books, like specifically, <clears throat> specifically, let's see. The No Excuses book, this book, and a couple other ones that I'm going to talk about. <clears throat> I'm not trying to get you excited to go buy them or whatever as far as um, trying to create urgency like QVC or something like that. But I'll be completely honest, they are bargain books and they are only making a limited amount of them. Like they're not, they're not like necessarily top bestsellers, crazy expensive books. But they only just pump out so many and, you know, it's kind of like impulse buys at the store or whatever. So they don't keep making them forever unless, you know, it gets really popular and obviously they'll bring it back out. But a lot of these are just kind of one one shot deals. The next one I'm currently reading and almost done. Look at that. I'm all excited about it. Um, I read this one daily. It helps me a lot. Uh, a day book of positive thinking. It's daily affirmations of gratitude and happiness. And honestly, base, if you ever remember those calendars that they used to have back in the day that you could sit on your desk and you would flip it and it would have some cool or funny or inspirational thing every single day, <clears throat> that's basically what this is. This is basically, um, so it has, usually it has, if you can see it, it's like daily things that can uh, help lift your spirits or whatever. If I wake up and I have, you know, something that happens in my morning or whatever that kind of um, gets me ruffled or ruffles my feathers or something like that, I definitely focus on picking up that book right away so that it doesn't affect my entire day. The next one is called Emotional Intelligence. I took this book, and obviously it's another one of those bargain books. I took this book and right in the beginning... I've talked about it before. They have a test to see how, what your emotional intelligence is. So mine, yours can be, you can test between zero and 100. It's a scale of 100. Most people are supposed to test between 60 and 80. I got a 35. Um, this book has been Difficult in the sense of I have a lot of growing to do as far as uh, being emotionally immature, um, being, you know, problems with, I don't even want to talk about it, <laughs> jealousy, uh, frustration, anger, um, sensitivity, um, working with people. So it's, it's a growing book. Um, sometimes you don't want to hear those things that are hard to hear and that's what makes you grow most. So this book specifically is definitely tapping into me being a better person. Um, not that I want to read it. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a really good book. A lot of the times those are the best books. This one also had a cover, but I took it to Europe with me. Um, it is called The All-New Atkins Advantage. I want to thank Martha again. She sent me this book. I think you can find it for pretty cheap. Uh, it usually has a cover on it. That's what you'll see in the link. I've put it on the Facebook group before. 
but um, some of the things that it has, it has acceptable foods, it has carb counts, it has things about stretching, it has things about workouts. It's a 12 week program. If you can see, it has sit down workouts, it has stand up workouts, it has uh, all kinds of information. Like it is, how many pages is this? I'm not done with it. It's 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 uh, 361 pages. It's a pretty good sized book. You're getting a lot for the money right here. And if you don't know, I'm also gonna put a link. I gotta write that down. Atkins. Another one is like a quick pocket book. It's called Atkins Essentials. Um, usually you can find that for about two bucks. It's an older one. Um, but if you're kind of looking for an it's not going to be any less pages. Obviously, they're going to be smaller. It's only a book like this small. It's a book like, like this, a little bit thicker than this, a little small, tiny book that you could take, you know, when you're going to an event or something or something you don't want to do <laughs> or whatever. Um, and you can read it or on vacation or just relaxing after work or whatever. It's pretty easy to read, but it gives you a really good overview. It's like the lesser version of this big book. Um, this one's a little bit more comprehensive, but the other one um, is kind of like a quick, you know, read. I said that to Rebecca the other day. She seems to, uh, actually, she hasn't told me if she liked it. She said, thank you. <laughs> but it's obviously not something you can read in a day unless you're like a super fast reader. I'm not a super fast reader. The next one is, look at that pile of books. I love books. I really do. They're awesome. I'm learning a lot from books. Not that I necessarily want to learn it all <laughs> um, because growing can be difficult. You have to reach inside and want to grow. Uh, the next one, I sent this out to 15 people. I think three people told me they got it, so I hope they all got it. But um, this is actually the workout personal training workout diary. If you can see that, you can get it online for four or five bucks. And the reason I recommended this to people is because like it has like tons, especially if you're just getting started. If you are just getting started, there's obviously a couple things you should have. Ketone strips, food scale, uh, as well as uh, a weight scale, a measurement strip, measuring cups, um, a measuring big cup, and measuring little cups. And I'll put links to that in the description below. But this has for stretching, it has like how to do your BMI, how to use this diary. It has like anatomy uh, for women, men. It has uh, a 12 month planner, fitness test, start of the year assessments. It has a section for tracking your food and your goals and all that. Like for the price, this is going to be a very comprehensive uh, workout diary and journal to keep in, in. And this is my current favorite book. This doesn't necessarily have anything to do with a weight loss plan or anything. Sorry, it's still early here and it's raining. And uh, it's not raining very hard right now. But um, I'm trying to drink my coffee. This book is, um, I don't even know who the author of this is. Well, there includes three press pages. So, um, so, the science of success, as you can see, it has my own little favorite doohickey there. That's my doohickey. I'll show you what that says. Actually, that's my bookmark. If you can see it. That's my favorite bookmark. It always goes in my favorite book. It says, believe. And it says, if you, if you believe you can do it, you can. That's just, I, I try to tell everybody that self-belief is what's going to get you there. And a lot of the times, if you can't believe in yourself, believe in the belief people have for you until your own kicks in. Because a lot of the times that could be a lot more promising. And that's kind of what I currently do. Um, I, I believe in people's ability or people's belief in me. Uh, mine's kicking in, you know, it, it just takes time sometimes. You guys, those are the books that I'm currently working on. I did, I have one more that I sent to Ron Grimes. I can't think of the name, um, but that was literally the first book I read. I was going through rehabilitation. Um, I was in a sling, but I was still working out every day at the gym. I was walking on the treadmill. 
and stuff. I couldn't uh, do any body exercises or anything, but I was doing like legs and stuff like that. Um, but I read this book and this book kicked my butt into gear. Um, it really did. It was an inspirational book. It was like a coach talking to the team book or whatever. And I'm not, if you know anything about me, I am not big on sports. I don't care about sports. I don't watch football, basketball, none of that. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not my thing. Um, I like to be the person playing the sports, not the person sitting on their ass watching the sports. That's just me. You know, not to knock anybody if they love sports. Hey, I think it's great. Um, I just personally don't get into them, so it's not my thing. But that being said, that book specifically talks about a lot of sports, but it uses metaphors and stuff like that. And it was actually really good. I sent it to Ron. Um, so I'll look that up and put that in the description below. Also, one more book that I was going to talk about, The Ketogenic Diet. I shared that the other day. It's a book I couldn't afford the other day, but I was at... Um, I do this a lot, and I feel bad kind of i don't feel bad about it i go to bookstores and a lot of times i'll just thumb through stuff and like take pictures of stuff all sneaky <laughs> hopefully the librarians don't catch me but i uh, i'll take pictures and i get tons of information and that was the one that ketogenic diet obviously you know um uh, the ketogenic diet book was really comprehensive i actually really enjoyed thumbing through it i actually took like 80 pictures of it uh, because it told you about all kinds of stuff. It wasn't just like, here's some recipes. It was like, hey, how do you follow you know this to get into ketosis? What do you do if you're not losing weight? What do you do if you get in this situation? How do you get more active? Blah 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 blah. It was just like a, it was like a diary, like something that you should have. Also, I can't find the book. That was another one. I don't know why I can't find it. It's like the biggest book in the freaking world. Um, it's, it's called uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's, um, what is it called, Diary to Bodybuilding or Bodybuilding something. Anyway, it's a really thick book. It's about that thick. So if you're looking to um, get in shape, don't worry about it. You don't have to say, oh, I'm not doing bodybuilding or whatever. No, this book gives you everything about nutrition and just, holy crap, it's expansive. It may take you an entire lifetime to go through it. Or if you'd like a challenge... Get that book and maybe read it on a weekend or a week or whatever, depending on how fast you read. But that's a very comprehensive book um, to be able to uh, get an entire understanding of how to grow muscle, how to get lean, how to lose fat and stuff like that. So he has a lot of information and that is still a staple book 30, 40, 50 years later since that was wrote. So definitely keep that in mind, guys. You guys... Please pick up a couple of these guys or one of these guys or also um, put in the description below if you have a book that you're done reading that you would like to gift to somebody. And maybe if that person wants that book, they can cover, you know, uh, shipping. Maybe they can send you a couple bucks and you can send it media mail to them. So that would be really cool because we need to start sharing books because that's what we're here to do is share knowledge. You guys, keep up the good work. Check out the links in the description below. Have a beautiful day and remember to spread love, not hate. Hashtag be stronger than your excuses. Oh my God, where's my bracelet? Jiggy bass. It's right there. <laughs> I got like a whole pile of my, um, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Have a good day, guys. Have a good day, guys.